Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic Wrath of the Lich King and our human paladin. It's snowing here in the Wormrest Temple. It's snowing inside the temple, and uh, not really sure how that's happening or why it's happening, but it is. So yeah, that's a fun way to kick things off. I wonder if it's snowing outside too. Yes, it is snowing in the zone, which looks quite pretty. It's just kind of inexplicable how it all gets inside of the dome. These are some pretty big doorways. I'll allow it. Yeah. Hope you guys are doing well today. Thank you for joining me here in Northrend. I really do appreciate it. We're going to head north today and uh, take care of some of these side quests out here that we have outstanding. And then... We're going to head over to Winterguard. Maybe we... Well, this is a group quest. We, we could try to do it solo. We could try to find a group for it. I tend to just let the group quest kind of hang out. And then as we wrap up the zone, I decide if I'm going to get a group together or go, go try to tackle them on our own or whatever the plan is. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out once we're pretty much wrapped up here. I don't think I want to jump down this, and I don't think there's a way over it unless we run all the way to the end of it here. Path of the Titans. We're still seeing this quest, the Stiff Negotiations, which we haven't been presented with, and uh, I'm not sure if that's going to open up once we finish everything else, or if it's just like a weird bug in Questy, or what exactly is going on. Okay, so we are going to slay some harpies, and we're looking for the Mistress of the Cold Wind. This we'll call a Shredder, which I, I suppose we want to do this because we need to collect the lumber we can uh, do a twisting blade to deal damage we can launch some saw blades in front of us up to five targets we can hustle releases a burst of energy increasing the speed and we can do an emergency repair and we can collect lumber okay Target needs to be in front of you. Yes, it does. Unfortunately, I, I can't loot them when we're like this. Yeah, so the trees are marked with a little sign, a little glowy, uh, sparkly sign. Uh, I was in the queue for some things. I put myself in the queue for a few things. Violet Hold, Drac Theron, and, and Old Kingdom. As DPS, though. Yeah, I put myself in as DPS. I, I, I don't really remember those dungeons, and I want to see them once as DPS before I tank them. Just a comfort thing for me, and uh, mainly thinking, keeping, trying to keep the group in mind. You know, I don't want to bumble my way through one of these runs without trying to see it first, either as a healer or a DPS. I mean, we could probably figure it out, but it just might not be the best experience for everybody.
This auto attack, I, I just... Oh, there we go. We gotta actually target it, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll get the hang of it. Piloting vehicles is not my favorite thing in WoW. That's for sure. But it's okay. We had to be really, really close to the tree to get that ability to activate. Like super close to the tree. Alright, not really a lot of enemies around. Here's one. Uh, well, I think she... Where is she at? Oh god, she keeps flying further and further away. Kind of thinking that I could do the kill quest as my character. And maybe we just focus on getting the, uh, the wood that we need. I don't think we need to use this thing to kill them to get credit for the quest. And I'd really just u rather use my character abilities to fight. So we have 37 out of 50. Let's keep looking here. Probably about two more trees at the rate we're going. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, 49 out of 50. We need one more tree, yeah. Let's grab this one over here. Perfect. Okay, let's pop out of this thing. Let's fight this harpy here and see if we're gonna get credit for it. I, I don't see why we wouldn't. Putting up some buffs would be good. Ah, uh, same old Robert. It wouldn't be a Robert Rambles episode if I didn't forget buffs until the first pull. And if we didn't immediately have a full inventory. Yeah, we're doing we're doing it all today, guys. We're hitting all the things. I have, a, I have a notebook that I keep meaning to bring down into my office. And it, it's still sitting up in my living room right now. And this notebook I, I intend uh, to write things down in to look at before I log into the game. Things that will say, empty your inventory, or you were doing this last. Uh, things like that to kind of help me out. As I uh, can get pretty scatterbrained pretty easily unless I write stuff out, but... Over the past handful of years, I've just kind of like stopped keeping a notebook. Used to write quite a bit. Uh, just like reflective journaling and stuff. Uh, but not so much anymore. Not so much these days. I kind of want to go back to camp. I just can't remember if there was even a vendor there. Let, let's finish the quest. We'll finish the quest and then we'll go back. Let's see, is there anything we can ditch that doesn't sell for a lot? We can get rid of this. Yeah, getting rid of any non-needed food items is probably going to be the cheapest thing to do here. We can pop the scroll of strength. Well, that opened up a couple of uh, places of inventory. Don't really have anything else that I particularly want to get rid of. Here, we'll get rid of the chilled meat. Looks like we have a full group. Since I have no idea... Oh, I'm not... I'm not in my group tab again. Yep. Just sitting in the immersion tab. VH. Violet, violet hold. I don't know if I mentioned it today, but the music here is really, really enjoyable.
I should probably try to figure out where the named one is. Way back in the back of the canyon. Maybe we should head back that way. And just kind of scout out her spawn point. See if she's up or maybe locate a body if she's not. So we know kind of where she spawns at. Yeah, it looks like she's going to be all the way back here. Whoops. Here she is. Oh, she is dead. She's dead. That's why we need the shredder. It's okay. We can call it if we really need it. Oh, did she respawn right away? I'd almost be fine trying her out uh, without it, but maybe we just better spawn it in. Let's uh, see if we can pull her. There we go. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be much easier inside the mech. And there we go. Okay, that leaves a handful of regular harpies we need to take out. Just a handful. And we are going to work our way back uh, to town here to turn in and then hit a flight point to get us over to Dalaran. I'm not sure if there's a summoning stone over there or not. I kind of assume that there would be a summoning stone. There's a summoning stone in Stormwind for uh, stockades, which leads me to believe that there would also be one for Violet Hold, but maybe not. Maybe not. I guess we'll find out pretty soon, but we are going to head head on over as soon as we get this turned in. Well, completed and then turned in, since we uh, we still do need a couple. It would have been nice to get both of these. Uh, that would have been exactly what we needed when we needed it. But she just did not want to engage. Uh, I don't... Oh, there we go. She must have circled back around. Okay, that's done. Let's quickly run over and turn these in, and then we'll hearth back to Wormrest and fly over to Dalaran. I originally went to Dalaran in one of the episodes that OBS ate. Just chewed it up, spit it out as hot garbage. Uh, so yeah, I do have the Dalaran flight points. Didn't get a Dalaran hearthstone, but maybe I'm thinking of Legion. Yo. When I'm thinking about the Dalaran hearthstone. Hey, for real. Talk to me. Uh, we could take a one-handed axe. We could take a two-handed axe. Then. Let's take the staff to sell it. These guys just keep having more and more quests to do. It's kind of crazy. Hey, how you doing? Here we go. Stiff negotiations. Locate Zort in the center of Crystal Vice. Have a good one. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to do that right now, obviously. We might leave this. I'm not, like, too interested in the goblin stuff. I, I do want to get into Winterguard Keep, so... That's probably what we'll do. Uh, let's see... Head over here. You can't get into Dalaran until level 74. 
Oh, I didn't know that. I mean, we're good. Yeah, we, we've been there. We're good. Yeah, 73 is not going to cut it, apparently. Although, it's weird. It lets you queue up for the dungeon at level 73. Which seems kind of strange. Paladins, you gotta come. We know. Music in Crystal Song Forest, though. We have to do some questing there. I don't know that there's, like, a lot to do. There, there looks like there's nothing to do right now, but at some point, guys, we have to do some quests there. The music seems like it's going to be so relaxing and amazing. Ugh. Summon my DK to Dalaran once we are done, please. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe if I remember and don't just leave the group spontaneously. Uh, where is the Violet Hold? The Violet Hold is over here. Cool, cool. Yeah, no summoning stone. I thought it was, like, tucked away in, like, the corner over here somewhere, but... Yeah, apparently not. Alright. I think we're good. Let's turn details on. Let's, uh, reset here. Yeah, so we have Warlock, so we can summon the lower level person into the dungeon. We don't have to have him fly here or anything, so... Uh, we, we are all... Yeah, we need to not all make the portal. Alright, there we go. Let's do... Light. Wisdom. Strength. Uh, it's been a while since I've done the Violet Hold. I, I just... Can I not have a star over my head? That'd be ideal. Boop. So, so who's tanking here exactly? Did I, did I end up queuing up his tank? Oh, I think I did. Alright, we can, we can fix this. We, we can fix this. I queued up as DPS, but I feel like I got invited and somehow became the tank. Let's check this person out to make sure they're not tanking. Oh, they're holy. Okay. Plan B. Activate these talents. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Alright, we can do this. If we, if we get some... If we had some mana, we could do it. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, there we go. I guess it's weird because even though I queued up, I queued up as a DPS, okay? So when I went into the dungeon finder, queued up as DPS, got into the group, my talent spec was marked as tank, so they just then assumed I was tanking? That's pretty weird. Because yeah, when they when they invited me, I was def- I'm gonna say something about it in a minute here.
Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna, like, take the rap for that shit, because I definitely was queued up as DPS. Um, and only DPS. Tank was unchecked. I was, I was DPS. That was it. And like I said, because, like, they make you change here, so whatever you queue up as, it should automatically change you, uh, here. So that when you're sitting in the group, you show up as the role that you queued up as. And not as the bullshit arbitrary role that you set inside of your own talent tree. Uh, this needs to be changed. Yeah, I, I don't like that at all. And it caused confusion in this group where they pulled me in as DPS. Whoever, whoever did the recruit saw me as DPS, invited me to the group. And then I got into the group and I showed up as tank, so they just stopped looking for a tank. So, <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty shit. Um situation to end up in. Thankfully, like, we can tank, but yeah, it definitely was not my intention to tank this the first time upon seeing it. There's gonna be important stuff that uh, a person would need to know as a tank in here that I, I'm probably not gonna know. So... I have Righteous Fury on, but these guys are just generating a lot of threat. Yeah, I just, and I don't remember the order of where the portals open. Okay, we can see it ahead of time. Now that I'm less discombobulated, we might be able to get this under control. Um, so yeah, I, I have seal. This is fine. Okay, yeah, we should be good. Yeah, there was, there was probably a mechanic there that I didn't know. So, there's that. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, maybe the healer was, was AFK? I didn't see an AFK message. Let's, let's look up. They, they said something at some point. They said, Camped. I, maybe they meant can't? I don't know what they were trying to communicate there. Uh, but it, it didn't come off. So this is going to be a wipe. The the uh, painful part of wiping the Violet Hold is I'm pretty sure you start uh, back at the beginning of the of the sequence. Yeah, so the healer, that wasn't us. That was the healer just vanished. Poof. Gone. Just blipped out of existence. Cool, cool. Okay. Perfect. We've had pretty good luck with people not doing that so far. That's like the first time we've had a healer just like drop without saying anything. Uh, I could tank, get a healer. Yeah, I think there's a lack of uh, healers around as well. Definite lack of healers. I mean, what he says isn't wrong, but it's just a comfort thing. I'd rather do a dungeon first as DPS just to see it. Like, no doubt we can do it, you know what I mean? We can make it a successful run. But I do prefer a certain level of familiarity. 
Uh, I guess we're gonna hang out. Let's go get our body back. <laughs> Let's get our body back. That'd be good. And then we will wait and see if we're gonna get a healer. Is there anything we could do in the meantime? Now we definitely don't have the uh, we don't have the key for this. I don't think. Yeah, we don't we don't have the violet hold key. We could go sightseeing around Dalaran. Just uh, have a little run through. We could we could get rid of the star above our head. That would probably be better for the time being. Boop. We could, uh, what we could do is we, we could be really smart and we could empty our inventory. Feel free to browse. That'd be really cool, wouldn't it? I need to look at this trinket. 43 crit strike. I don't want to give up my attack power. I know, it's probably not right, but I like to keep the attack power. Yeah, maybe I should be paying attention to what I am vendoring here. We don't want to vendor any of our actual DPS stuff. Okay, uh, that's basically what we can do for now. We might as well just equip these. This needs to just be resaved. Okay, um, yeah, we still don't have a healer, obviously. I don't know if they're spamming in the channel. Are we inevitably going to have to do, like, dual spec as prot and heals? Just to make sure that we can successfully do runs in a timely fashion? Yeah, we can, I mean, we can't do both. In this situation, we, we don't really have a choice. You know. We, we don't have a decent enough healing set anyway. Finding a replacement DPS isn't going to be an issue, but apparently finding heals is going to be a huge issue. It is apparently a big issue. Yeah, it's not easy to find heals, apparently.
We're not even in the channel. We're not. We're not. We not, we're not, aren't even in the looking for group channel. Oh no. Hmm. Yeah, we can't even spam the channel unless he puts us actually like in the queue. Well, that's fine. That's a DPS. But yeah, we're never gonna get heals unless he can. Unless he can get in the channel and spam for it. We're not just gonna sit and wait. What do we got? Oh, we got floors back. Oh, good. We got. We got floors back. I want. I want to know the story of what happened. Did he just? Did he DC? Maybe I don't know. Well, we'll try it again. We'll see how it goes this time. Asking the hard questions there. Oh, I need, uh, I need Sanctuary. Alright, let's hope this goes a little bit better. I mean, you know, knowing that we're tanking going into it, it's, it's going to go better. If we can keep our healer from disappearing into thin air, that would be good too. Like, you have kings. Oh, hi there. Can I have kings? Oh, the rogue wants kings. Okay, yeah, he, the rogue can have kings. If he really, really wants kings, he can definitely have it. Tank, tank slow, he says. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to engage. T tank originally queued up his DPS, so yes, tank is slow. Uh, next portal's down here.
back in business. Now, to execute an exit strategy. It seems my freedom was In trading, a high quantity of our time energy is near. Time for some prospecting. I feel like I don't want the spear to get to him, but the spear's gonna get to him, so what are you gonna do? Are, are we supposed to be DPSing the spear down? <laughs> Again, maybe, you know, like I said, kind of the reason why I wanted the DPS at first. There's obviously, like, important boss mechanics that I don't remember that uh, aren't able to be communicated with words, apparently. Fun times. We might not be doing this today. We might be doing something else instead. Uh, because I'm pretty sure every time you die in here, it has to restart. Like, the entire dungeon has to restart, if I remember correctly. Maybe if you reach a boss, maybe you start on that boss. We'll see if anybody can provide actual information when directly asked if they know the mechanic. They don't know. <laughs> they don't know. Oh god. Yeah, we're just going to go back to doing what we were doing. Yeah, I mean, I definitely feel like I'm the weak link here, so... I'm out. I don't like the vibe I'm getting anyway. And I definitely, you know, after having come into the group as a DPS and... Kind of volunteering to tank. I'm fine admitting that uh, I would rather know the dungeon before taking it because that, that was a pretty big boss mechanic. It seemed like the boss either needed to be kited away from the orb or the orb should have been burned down by the DPS. So without knowing stuff like that, I'm not going to continue to waste these people's time. Hello. Uh, let's go... Be careful. Where do we want to go? Uh, I want to go. I want to go to Winterguard. Yep. I am honored. Let's go to Winterguard. Good luck. I am going to move this to damage, so that next time I queue up for a dungeon for DPS, uh, the people who invite me as DPS will remember what role I was pulled into the group as. So that we're not in another situation where we're tanking something that we really, really don't want to.
All right, let's get started here in uh, Winterguard Keep. Let's go pick up everything and see what's going on. Greetings. The hills have us. While we focus uh, to hold our ground at Winterguard and deal with the unfolding events of the Wrathgate, battalions from as far away as Westfall battle their way through the dense foliage and inhospitable denizens of the Grizzly Hills. All in hopes of finding an alternate route into Ice Crown. Lieutenant Dumont stationed at Amber Pine Lodge has enlisted the aid of all able-bodied citizens willing to risk life and limb in the uncharted wilds. This is a Grizzly Hills breadcrumb. Oh no! Oh geez! It put us right on a flight? Are you kidding me? Why? No. Stop. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, uh, Robert, read the last line of the quest before you click accept. Stupid. I, I didn't expect him just to fly us. I, I Usually when they do that, they say, Hey, talk to this person when you're ready to fly over there. But it, talking to the person was just talking to him. Like, clicking on him one more time. And, and now we're on our way to the Grizzly Hills. Or something, I, I guess. I don't know. Let's see. Where are we going? Uh, maybe we're going right over here. That wouldn't be too bad. Maybe they'll get us somewhere where we can get a flight point. I, I don't know. But yeah. Pretty, uh... Pretty unfortunate way to start things off there, isn't it? We don't seem to have a ton of quests in Winter Guard to pick up, even. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe the dragon storylines were the main storylines here. Alright, well, here's the Grizzly Hills. The Grizzly Hills music. We are flying very close to the Horde base. It's, it's a little bit weird how our flight just keeps taking us right over top of the Horde area. Instead of taking us somewhere that... Oh, here we go. Oh, we're being attacked. This is part of the event. We've got company hold on tight, gonna try to lose him. He's gonna land us in the middle of nowhere, isn't he? Oh no, please take us to the Amber Pine Lodge. <laughs> You're not, are you? Yeah, we live in the Grizzly Hills now. This is where we live. Oh, we're going way off the beaten path. Wait, does he, does he got it? Did he get away? To be fair to the Horde NPCs, we circled them for a long time. Like, we circled their town, we didn't have to fly that way, he could have flown around it. So, I I'm not surprised that we got attacked. I am not surprised. Uh, I think we lost him, that was a close one. As promised, Amber Pine Lodge. Okay. Well, we did, we did manage to get here. And, uh... Maybe we'll have a more direct flight back. Hello. I'm hoping. See you later. Here's hoping that the flight back is more direct. I'm excited to get into the Grizzly Hills, but not yet. I don't think we're ready. Level 73, 74. Uh, the stuff over here to the east. Level 75. 75. And then what about uh, Zoldrak? 75, 75. So maybe we are going to do Grizzly Hills before we do Zoldrak. 76. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 78, right. Hmm. For some reason, I remember doing Zoldrak first, back in the day. Uh, Storm Peaks, we, we have nothing. There's not, there's not a single quest there yet that I can see. Same thing with Ice Crown, and same thing with Crystal Song. This is Dalaran here, so... So yeah, we've really only got, uh... And nothing in Sholazar Basin. Maybe this stuff will open up later on. I don't remember Sholazar Basin at all. No idea what it looks like. Don't know if I ever spent any time there. So yeah, it's Grizzly Hills and Zoldarak right now. So maybe we are gonna do the Grizzly Hills before we do Zoldarak. Okay, and we're back. Let's mount up and go turn in our breadcrumb. What can I do for you? 
The High Commander reads the missive and then crumples it up. Do you know where the people on this list are now? Take a look outside, near the front gate. They're the ones hanging from the arches. Oh. Ghoulbait. These were the traitors. Yeah, we had discovered a missive that pointed out that there were traitors here. Lord Fordragon has led a crushing assault against Arthas at the Wrathgate. Um, has he? Because we didn't see anything happen at the Wrathgate, but uh, I guess he's telling us that something happened. In response to this affront, Arthas has sent Naxxramas down upon us. While Kalthuzat hides in the floating citadel, his ground commander, Thelzan, lays siege to Winterguard Keep. The lower village is already lost, and any chance of extracting survivors from the ruins diminishes by the minute. We must act quickly. Report to Griffin Commander Uruk at the Griffin Station. He'll get you up to speed. For the Alliance. Okay. Uh, if we talk to the Griffin guy again, we just can't click him too many times because he will uh, shoot us off into space. Uh, we've got a High Elf building back here. And it seemed like there was a quest here, but there's not. Speak to Rodney Wells at Winterguard Keep to secure a ride to Star's Rest. Very weird. Some of the quest tracking with Questy has been a little bit off the wall. I do update it every day. Uh, well, I check for updates. There's not always an update, but there often is. But it still seems to be a little bit wacky. I guess that's what I get for using add-ons. Uh, Commander Dawnbringer here seems to be having a little audience. The commander stops his lesson and walks away from us. Greetings. Rudely. The commander stops his lesson and turns, his eyes appraising you and sizing you up. I have use for one such as yourself. Okay. My old enemy High General Abendus has come to Northrend. Somehow she survived the attacks upon Tyr's hand and brought a small force north. They've established New Hearthglen to the south. While they could prove useful in fighting the Scourge, Abendus herself is far too shrewd an opponent to let live. Trust me, if we let them stand, she will be at our throats before dust settles. So we'll deprive them of their leadership and go about our business. Bring me her head. Oh, jeez. See you around. Okay, I guess we're, we're gonna go get her head. Bring it back in our bags. As we do. As we do. Yeah, nope, we're not gonna be fooled by that one again. Let's come down here. And we'll go talk to the Flight Master. We should probably also set our Hearthstone here. That'd be a great idea. Let's do it while we're over by the inn. Well met. Uruk points to a griffin. Have you ever ridden one of those? Uh, yeah, we have at this point. It's simple, friend. Just hop on and tell it where to go. With this whistle, you can call down a Winterguard griffin, mount the creature, and head towards the ruins of Winterguard Village, now known as the Carrion Fields. Once at the fields, keep your eyes peeled for helpless Winterguard villagers. When you spot one, fly low and use the Griffin to pick them up. Return the rescued villagers here to the Griffin Station. There are Scourge all over the place, so you'll need to keep your wits about you. Okay, um... Hmm, let's go set our Hearthstone. Um, maybe. I'm assuming there's supposed to be people in here. We seem to have entered a weird instance of reality. Uh, whereby there is nobody. Let's do a little reload here. That, that didn't do it. Well, this is a weird bug. I've never encountered anything like this before. Every NPC that would be at the inn, including the ones that are vendors and the innkeeper themselves, have vanished. We are in some alternate phase of reality where nothing makes sense. So we're not doing the whole uh, Hearthstone thing right now, I guess. I guess that's not in the cards for us right at this moment. Alright, let's take the griffin, and let's round up some uh, injured civilians. Yeah, I, I don't think we, uh, I don't think we got him. <laughs> 
So maybe he's not what we're looking for. Yeah, I'm not I'm not really sure. So those villagers are not who we're looking for. I'm not sure who we are looking for then. Do we need to fight these things? Do we need to like pop off? Fight the thing. Oh, this is cool. We need a one-handed melee weapon. Yeah, we messed up. We messed up. We need to be in retribution spec for our current gear loadout. Just kill him slowly with holy damage. It's fine. Um, she ran off. That did not allow us to use the griffin to help her out. So now I'm just very confused. Fly low, use the griffin to pick him up, return the rescued villager here. Yeah, it sounds really simple and straightforward, and I'm sure that it is, but... Maybe we're just not finding the right villagers. What's on your mind? Let's come down a little bit further into the actual village area. Maybe that is the problem. Here we go. Yeah, we just weren't really in the right spot. So I'm assuming we can only do one at a time? That could get kind of tedious. And where can we drop them off? At the Griffin Station? Yikes. Yeah, if we have to make that flight ten different times, that's gonna get really, really tedious. Let's try to pick up multiples this time and see how many people can we hold on the Griffin. Uh, because one at a time is not gonna do it for me. We can only do one at a time. That's that's not ideal. I just have to I have to say that's not ideal. It makes absolute sense realistically, like yeah, we can carry one dude at a time, but they want us to do this ten times. I don't really know how I feel about that. It's not a matter of it being easy or hard. It's a matter of it being a little bit overly tedious. Unfortunately, some negative things are true, whether you want to hear them or not. We get a cool view of Naxxramas. That's the bright side, we'll say. And a nice view of my desktop. Good times.
yeah, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this one on my own. This is, uh, this is going to take a little while. And we're not even really, we don't get to fight stuff. We really don't have anything to interact with or look at or talk about. <laughs> it's just fly back and forth and uh, do the same thing. Press one button, press the other button. So I am going to take care of this on my own and I will end this episode here. Uh, I don't know how much we're going to be doing out of Winter Guard Keep. It doesn't seem like we're going to be doing a whole lot. We do have a couple, uh, this is a, a group quest. We might go check that out. And just uh, maybe see if we can do that, see if we can get that done. And then maybe it's time to go into Grizzly Hills. Um, it could be time. We're going to be level 75 pretty soon. I just, you know, I get kind of worried. I don't know how many levels we're going to get in Grizzly Hills. I don't know how many levels we're going to be able to get anywhere. And we're going to have five levels to get through that are going to be increasingly demanding when it comes to how much experience it takes to gain the level, so... Trying to do basically everything I can. But sometimes I encounter quests like this or areas like this that, you know, I don't really want 100%. But I am going to get this one done. And then we will pick up from there and see what else there is to do here. And probably be moving on to Grizzly Hills, I would say, fairly soon. So, yeah. Thank you guys for being here. Really do appreciate all of the continued support on this series. And as always, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again sometime very soon. Bye for now.